to import a file, select File, Import, and then select the file that you wish to import. Normally, it will show you all importable file formats, but if you want to select a specific file format, you may do so from the list. But these, file, these formats include the Dramatica story files, screenwriter script files, Hollywood screenwriter script files, rich text files, and then any other type of file, for instance, if it's a text file that's not, uh, that's, you wouldn't normally see in this list. I am going to import this script file from Movie Magic Screenwriter and hit open. And when you open anything other than a Dramatica file, it'll give you some import options. If I had an existing document open, it would ask me if I wanted to import it into the document. But since I don't, it's going to ask me to create a new document based on, and then I can select what template I wish from the list of templates. Let's say I just want the screenplay scenes only template just for this particular example. And I can either add it to existing events or replace events. Since it's a new file, it doesn't matter. So I'll hit import. And you'll see that it's imported all the scenes and material from the script. Now the default in this view is to look at it in a normal vertical outline view. But if I wish to, I may go up into my view menu and select it as a timeline. And by doing so, I can see how my document, these are all the scenes listed along a timeline. If I wish to, I can go in and just sort of zoom in and you can see all, here's all the content of all the scenes. But what's really nice, and hit the panorama button here and go back, if you use the tools estimate time durations, what this will do is that Outline 4D will go in and change the length of these scenes based on their content. So the more content they have, the longer they are, the shorter, the shorter they are. So it's quite a helpful way of getting started into Outline 4D with your script. To export a file, choose File, Export, and you will be given a number of different choices. You can have it to export a file. To export a file, select File, Export. Choose one of the subset of events to export. You can either choose the events as displayed in the current window, the events as selected in the current window, or if you want to be a little more specific, you can select the events checked and it gives an outline of all of the di different event types. And it gives a selection of all the different event types. So for instance, if we did not want this little subplot thing here, the breakdown method, uncheck that and that will no longer be exported. So we are just left with act, sequence, part, scene, and subplot. Again, check or uncheck the parts you don't want. Then you want to select which file format it selects. Then you want to select which file format. There are two to choose from, rich text format and screenwriter format, the screenwriter DSW format. If you select Screenwriter, you also can have it start Screenwriter. No, shoot. There are two file formats to choose from, Rich Text Format and Screenwriter. We'll select Rich, we'll select rich Text Format. Then, just hit Export. Last thing you need to do is you need to make sure you, you note where you put it. So let's, for instance, I want to just put it in a <sighs> So all you have to do is make sure the name, give it a name that you like, this is fine, and hit save. 